Ellen uh, is a colleague of mine at Theatre Left, and according to the bio that she provided me this afternoon, is a language geek, content strategist, puppeteer, uh, which is well worth talking about later, um, object manipulator, that's amazing, um, whistler, uh, and general content person at Theatre. Uh, please give a round of applause. Used it or known it before? 
is the next measure thing. This is, this is a slightly weird one, but it's actually, once you start thinking about it carefully, it helps you dig a little bit deeper, because uh, you could be offering the same service as everybody else out there has ever offered it, and just be saying the same thing, thinking that your answer is unique and your solution is the best, but it makes you dig deeper to find out what the reason why that might be. But this is really fun. <laughs> Thank you for keeping up. Uh, so, what's different now that you've come along? Next question. With your info, your words, your hot stuff. Okay. Right, we're moving on. So I've only got one minute. And the last. I know, is it, is it, no, there we go. The last question, there is another question, but I'm going to tell you that. Um, paint a pretty picture of their life now that they've happily worked with or listened to you. You can do that in words or And Right, you basically created yourself a nice little content plan Hopefully, um, that is most useful for situations in which writing of content is like helpful or informative to those who are reading it. So uh, this little method I've been using at, at Clear Left upstairs uh, as a helpful addition to personas because uh, it really helps people on the content side of things work out the messaging and the mission behind the content, and it helps create a checklist of things that you can go back over uh, over a, a, a web page, for example, to make sure that you've got all those messages answered. Um, yeah, that's it.